Have you ever wondered why the process of going to an airport is so tedious and troublesome? Or why are there countless Syrian refugees in constant fear and terror scattered across Turkey? All these things are tied to historical tension and conflict. The origin of war dates back to when humans were still in hunter-gatherer society solely to acquire resources and territory. However, the main reason for modern war is difficult to identify as it make it depend on several factors, such as political unrest. Libya's civil war entered its seventh year this month with no end in sight. In Afghanistan, conflict has raged on and off since the Soviet invasion since in 1979. America's Afghan war is now its longest ever, and Yemen's conflict is in its sixth pitiless year. Somalia has endured 40 years of fighting. These are but a few examples of in a world where the idea of war seems to have become accepted or even normalized. Let's take a look back to 20 years ago, the infamous September 11, 2001 terrorist attack commonly known as 9-11 that revolutionized airport security and altered everyone's portrayal of Muslims. Less than 24 hours after the September 11 terrorist attack on the United States, America's allies in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization came together to declare a global war on terror. This ongoing war, which includes international military campaigns, is aimed to eradicate remaining terrorist groups from causing further, further casualties in the future. On October 7, 2001, the US invaded Afghanistan to finally put an end to Al-Qaeda and remove the Taliban government from power. The question is not why did we invade Afghanistan, Rather, the question is, why are we still in Afghanistan two decades later? In addition, aside uh, from the U.S. already spending over $1 trillion on the war, at least 100,000 Afghan civilians are estimated to have died since 2001. According to the U.N., the Afghan forces and their U.S. allies have caused more casualties than the Taliban itself in 2019. In fact, the war still continues up to present day with no conclusion yet agreed. More conflicts arise as Al-Qaeda's new leader posed more threat to terrorism, as well as ISIS terrorists now regu regularly launching attacks, hopes of peace are fading. So did this war on terror solve the conflict of global terrorism? The obvious answer would be no, as terrorism is still a very relevant issue in our modern world. A good example would be one in our own country of Indonesia. On March 28, 2021, a cathedral bombing in Makassar left 20 injured. This very recent tragedy proves that terrorist groups are indeed still very active and that terrorism is really a threat to security of a nation.